Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to be doing a book haul. I have not done a book haul since 2022 started. My last book haul was at in the middle to end of December. So I have acquired quite a few books <laughs> since 2022 started. Um, and in this video I'm just going to be talking about physical books. I have acquired so many digital books but we're just going to stick to physical books. <laughs> so like usual I have read probably almost all of these books. At least like a good 98% of my, these books. I don't buy physical books unless I've read them um, but I do get some in subscription boxes as gifts like on my Amazon wish list or something. Um, or if there's a book that like is like a new release um, that I know I'm gonna like or that I suspect I'm gonna like so like it's the next in a series then I'll get it. Um, so I've read most of these so I'm not gonna go too in depth about them um, but I'll give you like a basic sentence or two <laughs> about each one. Okay, so let's get in. I have quite a few. Um, the first one that I have is uh, The Princess and the Rogue by Kate Bateman. This is a historical that follows a princess who's in disguise. It is amazing. I gave this five stars. really, really loved it, and I knew I had to have a physical copy of it. Um, I absolutely love Kate Bateman. She's one of my favorite historical authors, so this is one of my favorites by her, so I had to have a physical copy of it when I found it um, at Thrift Books, and I had a free book you know when you get like lots of credits on thrift books and it like adds up to you can get a free book this was the free book I got <laughs> in that same order from <laughs> thrift books I also got a reckless match by Kate Bateman because I absolutely adored this book I have a full video talking about all of how much I love this book um but this is a rival families to lovers romance um it takes place in Wales it's amazing I also gave this book five stars <laughs> um the next one that I have is Super Hot Wingman by Serena Bowen and Lauren Blakely this is the pre-novella prequel novella to The Best Men by Serena Bowen and Lauren Blakely did you see my see me just hit myself on the face um, I, uh, have read this. I think I gave it four stars, if I remember correctly. Um, and I do recommend reading it before you read The Best Men, if you're gonna read The Best Men. Um, but it's an M.M. romance that follows two best men at a wedding, um, and they don't super get along, and this book follows their first meeting. So it makes more sense in the actual book if you've read this first. Then I have another novella that I got. I got Epic by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy. I have read this many many times but I never actually had a physical copy of it and Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy had announced I think in the beginning of the year that they were changing um, their covers for him and us and Epic and I didn't have Epic in the original cover so I wanted to get it before I couldn't get it anymore. You know what I mean? Um, so I got this one. Then I got Him and Us in the new covers and they are both, uh, they came with book plates that are signed by both Serena and Elle, so that was really exciting. Um, and a little bookmark for each book, so I thought that was cute. Um, but I don't love a cartoon cover, but I had to get these. I think that they're very cute. Um, and I understood why they wanted to change the covers. So I needed to support them because I absolutely love these books. One of my favorite books, duologies of all time. Another Serena Bowen. I think this is the last Serena Bowen in this stat pile. Um, but I got Must Love Hockey by Serena Bowen. This is a novella that she released that follows the equipment manager for the Brooklyn Bruiser series. Um, I originally read this as a serial in her newsletter um, and I really enjoyed it so I had to get the physical copy when it came out. I'm sorry if you can see my light flickering, it's driving me crazy. Um, then I have When Heroes Fall by Gianna Darling. I absolutely love this. I actually hadn't read it when I first bought it. I found it used on Amazon um, and needed to get it because I need, I want all of Gianna Darling's books. Um, and then I eventually, I did end up reading it last month, I think, 
and I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars. So, so good. This is a Mafia series. Elena and Dante are amazing. Dante is a in the Mafia and Elena is works as his lawyer. Then I got Goal Lines and First Times by Eden Finley and Saxon James. This is one that I didn't have yet in the series. Um, this one follows Cohen and Seth. It's an MM hockey romance. Love it. Then um, Kiki Clark uh, in her Facebook group posted a form where you could order signed copies of her books. And I ordered The Deputy and the Enforcer and The Hunter and His Mates by Kiki Clark. Uh, this is book three and four in the Kincaid Pack series. I absolutely love this series. I already owned book one and two, which is why I didn't order those. I have read this one. I have not read this one yet. I'm hoping to read this one soon. The audiobook is rumored to come out end of Mar March, beginning of April. So I'm hoping I can read this one new. But they are um, paranormal shifter romances and they are all MM. This one is uh, polyamorous. It's three men. Okay, then I have the tour edition of Crescent City 2 House of Sky and Breath. I ordered this. Um, you could order the tour, buy a ticket to the tour, and it was like a virtual tour, um, and you got a tour edition copy. So I got that. Um, it's really, really pretty. It says light it up on the back. I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet. Um, but it says House of Sky and Breath, Crescent City novel on the front. I don't have the tour edition of book one, which saddens me greatly because book one is my favorite. Um, but I wanted to get the second one. Okay. Then I also got a original cover copy of House of Sky and Breath. I pre-ordered this so long ago before the book came out because I wanted a signed copy. I ordered it from Barnes & Noble before they sold out so quickly. Um, I have since read this. Gave it five stars. It's fantastic. Okay, now we have Electric Idol. I have not read this. I, I am a part of Katie Roberts' Patreon, so I get, and I'm at the tier where I get physical copies of her books in the mail, and I received this one. Um, I have not read Neon Gods yet, though, so I haven't read this either. <laughs> then I was supposed to go to um, Music City with the Bells um, in... February I was supposed to go and I had placed a couple of pre-orders um, before I went before I was learned that I was not able to go at the last minute like literally like a week before I found out that I wasn't going to be able to actually go it was very sad um, but some of the authors that I had pre-ordered from reached out when I told them that I couldn't go and said that they would love to send the books to me anyway, um, send ship them to me um, since I had paid most of my invoices already. Um, and so one of those authors was actually Amy Dawes who ended up having to cancel going to the signing also, but she honored her pre-orders and so I had pre-ordered Payback and Sweeper. They are two that I didn't own yet um, in the Harris Brothers series and they are signed which is so fun. Very happy that I have these two. Then I have All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. This was one of my favorite books of February and so I allowed myself to buy it because I freaking adored this book. This is probably one of my top three favorite Mariana Zapata books. It's so good. Um, it is a grumpy sunshine single dad romance. It's amazing. I absolutely loved it so I had to get a copy of it. Waking Olivia is another one. This one I really really loved. I read in January and I needed to have a physical copy after I finished it so I got one. <laughs> this is a forbidden romance between a track runner and her coach and it's so good. It's dark though so check trigger warnings like it's like a she deals with a lot of trauma in her past. Um, so it can get a little dark. <laughs> I received 
uh, the Hello Lovely Winter Box, I believe it was, and Christina C. Jones was the author um, for the box, and I got a exclusive copy of The Culmination of Everything by Christina C. Jones with this like exclusive cover. I really, really like the back of it, what they've done. Um, and it's signed by her, which is really awesome. I have not read this book yet. I really want to. Then I got the like one of I got the one of the boxes where you could like where it came with a second book in it and that book was Say You'll Stay by Corinne Michaels. Corinne Michaels is an author who I have never read yet but she has been on my radar um, because I've heard good things about her. I have never read her though because a lot of her books are like angsty and like second chance and deal with a lot of emotions <laughs> which is not normally like my cup of tea but every once in a while I really like to delve into that so this I'm really excited to have this and I hope I love it I put it on my TBR um it does have an audiobook so I eventually will get to this one <laughs> we're almost down to the end though. this is gonna be a short one it's we're going going through it quickly um the next three that I have are all Sophie Lark books I got Brutal Prince and Broken Vow because they were my two favorites in the series so I ordered those for myself <laughs> and then I won a giveaway on Instagram um, and when I won the giveaway the person who was running the giveaway um, whose name is Maria um, she gifted me a book from my Amazon wish list, and the one that she chose to give to me was Stolen Air by Sophie Lark, which I am very excited about. So I now have three <laughs> in her series. Um, I eventually hope to get all of them. I'm just making my way slowly by through buying them. I will eventually get all of them. The last four that I have are also from, are the other ones that I got from the <laughs> Um, Music City with the Bells signing. It is, I placed very few pre-orders, um, but, and then I only, uh, two, and then the two authors that said they sent them to me were, um, Amy Dawes and Carla Sorensen. So Carla Sorensen did actually end up going to Music City in the, with the Bells. I am so sad I didn't get to meet her. I absolutely love her books, um, but she has exclusive covers for her Ward Sisters series that are only available if you go to a signing and meet her. And I had placed a pre-order for the four, for the four in the Ward Sisters series with the exclusive covers and she sent them to me. So I was very excited um, and I got Forbidden with this beautiful cover. I actually have Forbidden in the hardcover with this that I got on Amazon that was like available for a limited time on Amazon with in a hardcover and I bought Forbidden because it's my favorite in the series so I but I still again it's my favorite so I still got a paperback of it. And then I got Floored with this beautiful cover. I love the London skyline and then this one is faked and again the skylines on them are awesome. This one is the cabin in the woods and the um, and the uh, trees because it has a uh, snowed in in a cabin scene in it. <gasps> and then Focused which has the um, Seattle skyline on it. So absolutely love them. So so cute. So so happy to have them. They are all signed by Carlos Sorensen and they look beautiful on my shelves. So I'm extremely happy to have them. But that is it. Those are all of the physical books that I have got gotten recently. Um, I went through them very quickly, so I'm sorry about that, but I didn't want this video to be like a million years long. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so you can see more content from me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.